Today we're going to look at system entities inside of Dialogflow and how you can use those entities to add to the conversation. Now when we're looking at system entities or entities in general, uh, you need to remember that entities don't only apply to the conversation. Um, entities can apply to a specific action that is going to be triggered uh, when a certain thing happens. Okay, so. Uh, the example that we're going to give is going to apply to conversation, but if you use your imagination and just to get your imagination stimulated in the right way, with the example that we're going to give today, um, think about weather data. Okay, so you could pull weather data from the geostate, geocity system intents or entities that are already inside of Dialogflow. So let's look at how this would work and how this would save you a ton of time. Um, so one of the things that a user might say is I am from Los Angeles. I am from San Francisco. I think that's how you spell it. It is. Cool. Um, I live in Memphis. I live in Dallas, comma, Texas. I live in M I S S I S S I P I. I live in Mississippi. Okay, so I've pretty much covered all of my bases. And if I were to have to program each individual city, so, uh, you know, I live in Dallas, Texas, all the cities in Texas would take me days to do, you know, or a day to do at least. Um, so what the entities are going to allow us to do is to shorten or simplify uh, communication based on user input. So if a user tells me that they're from Mississippi, I want to respond by taking the value Mississippi is a beautiful state. And the value is an awesome city. I heard that it was very beautiful. Sounds like a great place to live based on the info I have and state is gorgeous by the way okay so in less than three minutes okay way less than that if we wouldn't have been talking about it uh, we have basically included all of the states all of the cities all of the possible combinations thereof which are millions and millions of combinations and have programmed a response for every single one of those user inputs in a couple of minutes. So let's see if it works. I live in New York. This will be interesting because New York is both a city and a state. New York is a beautiful state. Good. I live in Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee is an awesome city. I heard that it was very beautiful. Okay, that's a good response for that, but let's see if we can pull the city and state response. I live in Dallas. Texas. 
Dallas sounds like a great place to live based on the info I have. Texas is gorgeous, by the way. So, that simple. Okay, and you can use the same four names. You can also create your own entities. <laughs> I mean, remember that. So, if I want to collect the name of the user and communicate with the user by his name, my name is Bill. I am Cynthia. Uh, is that not how you spell that? Okay. I am Susie. All right, should work. Give a name. I didn't know. I am Richard. Okay. Copy, comma, nice to meet you. It is so nice to meet you. Name. All right, let's see if it works. My name is Richard. It is nice to meet you, Richard. I am Seth. Ah, I am Morgan. I am Bill. All right, so that hasn't caught up yet. And the reason why, here, I am Richard. Okay, there we go. Now we'll save it. I am Bill. All right, great. So that's it on this tutorial on system entities but if you want to know what they are I will link in the video below dialog flow and there we go and here they are so hopefully this was helpful to you guys